Hello class, in this video we'll optimize the 3D scan model, we'll retopologize the vertices, and we'll bake the texture maps from the high resolution model to the low resolution model. At the first step, we're gonna clean up the original 3D scan model. So here, let's bring the model into Maya. And uh, because the model is a bit small, so you can scale it up. Here I type the 300. And if you switch to the vertices mode, and by double click on the vertices, you can see that the whole model is not connected. It's separated into pieces. All right, so if I switch to the UV, I can also see that the UV are separated. So here's what I'm gonna do to fix it. So I'm gonna select all the vertices and go to UV editor, hold down control and right click and go to edges. And then I'm gonna move and sort the edges. It takes a few seconds to process. So now you can see that the edges in each UV shell is connected. So here I'm gonna select the model in object mode and I'm gonna freeze the transformation. Uh, I don't want any value in it. And here it still has a history. So I'm gonna go to edit and delete its history. So now the model is clean. We still have the vertices issue. So I'm gonna select all the vertices and go to merge vertices. So here for the threshold, I'm gonna put a value around like a 0.001 and then freeze transformation again and delete its history. And you are good to export this high resolution model. And we're going to move on to the next step. In the second step, I'm gonna load a small program called Instant Mesh. I'm gonna bring in the high resolution model. And here you can put a number for your desired vertices of the low resolution model. And click on solve, and you're gonna preview the wireframe if you like it, you can extract the mesh. So sometimes you may see um, there's a hole you know, on your mesh, but it's fine, we can fix that. So you can export this mesh and then bring it back to Maya. So here we can rename our high resolution model and create a display layer. And so like our no resolution model and create a display layer. So now we can just show our no resolution model and we can fix the holes. So if my model has a point connected to multiple faces, I would just detach the vertices and then separate them and then merge the vertices on each side of, uh, of the basket. And then here I'm going to grab the edges on each side and I can bridge them together. And once you're done, you can merge all the vertices together. And try your best to make the low resolution model match with your high resolution model. And once you're done, you can go to Mesh Display and turn on Soft Edge. In step three, I'm gonna demonstrate two methods for UV mapping. So the first method, uh, we're gonna try automatic mapping. It's just a one click. Uh, however, the downside is you will have a lot of uh, texture borders, okay? So this is good for a beginner to use. The second method, we're gonna use the Unfold 3D. Um, so just a node, the bonus tool, Unfold 3D. And then you can go to the detail and select all of the edges you want to add as a border. And once you're done, you can just click on continue and you're going to do a good job to map your UVs based on the texture border you added. So now you can see that the UVs on the basket is relatively bigger than the UVs on the floor. Um, so that's the purpose. I want the basket to share more UV space. And then don't forget to freeze its transformation and delete its history. So here I'm going to export it as a no resolution mesh.
In step four, we're going to go to Modbox and uh, first import the horizontal mesh. For the error message, just say keep all and turn off the mesh errors. And rename the mesh to high resolution mesh and assign the new material. I'm going to rename the material also as high resolution mesh. And go to the layers and import layer. So first we're going to import the diffuse map and make sure to import it to diffuse channel. Uh, same thing for the AO map, which is ambient occlusion. You want to import it to diffuse. And then turn the blending mode to multiply. And then we're going to bring in normal map and add it to the normal map channel. And import the roughness map to the gloss channel. So here we just set up the texture for the high resolution model. And we're going to import the low resolution model. And same thing for the error message, just to say keep all and turn off the mesh errors. And rename the mesh and assign it a new material. And for new material, we're going to name as a low resolution mesh material. So now we're going to go to extract texture maps, new operation. So first we're going to bake the normal map. And here's the setting. And here's the engine result. Then we're gonna go to extract texture map again, and this time we're gonna transfer the pin layers. And here's the setting. And here's the result compared to the original map. So the reason why I use a five as a distance is because if you get a bigger number, and sometimes you may get textures that you don't want from other objects. For example, here you can see that. These uh, toys, it projects the texture onto the basket. And even with um, 10, it's still not good. But with a 5, uh, you can see that the texture is really clean. It stays on each object. So you're gonna select the no resolution mesh, go to the layers, and then I recommend rename all of the texture maps. To export the texture map, you can just right click on each layer and export selected, and make sure export as a JPEG image. To export the whole channel, right click on the channel and export channel merged. And just make sure to save the file by a different name. And then you'll have all of the texture maps needed for your no resolution mesh. And then you can import the texture maps with the no resolution mesh into any gaming engine.